So today's video is about sideband operation. What is it? Why do you want it? Who wants it? Where is it? Who? What? Oh, yeah. Now this video is going to address three main points. What is sideband? How does it work? And of course, how to use it. So what is SSB anyway? Hi. So SSB stands for single sideband. Sometimes it's quoted as single sideband suppressed carrier. But what is a sideband? Well, in order to figure that out, we have to look at what AM modulation is. Now, on any standard 40 channel radio, we're going to have AM modulation, amplitude modulation. Now, that takes a 4 watt carrier, which is a frequency itself, and impresses our audio upon that signal. And you can see here, when something peaks here, something peaks here. Our audio is actually reflected, right? And if you want to visualize that a little better, we'll name this little character Darby. Now, Darby wants to turn this light bulb on. There's two switches. There's a switch here, and there's a switch here. If she swings, she's going to hit this switch, swing back and hit that switch. Well, that's kind of redundant. We don't really need that switch. We just need one switch. What we're doing with single sideband is we're actually getting rid of this here and focusing entirely on this part. So this audio goes through, and this we really don't need. My marker's dead. Whatever. So what can sideband do for you? Well, it can give you 80 extra channels, and how that works is you remember the graph that I drew up here, where this is just a visual representation of sidebands, and if you have an SSB radio, you've probably seen USB and LSB on that radio, and that stands for upper sideband and lower sideband. That means on channel 38, both you and your mama can be talking to different people on the same channel. You or your radio has suppressed the lower sideband and you're transmitting on the upper sideband. Her radio has suppressed the upper sideband and she is transmitting on the lower sideband. Now, legally, that increases range. It boosts your power from 4 watts allowable to 12 watts, and that's a greater than symbol, not an arrow, so don't get mad at me. And that's an FCC regulation, so if you really want to get more power and more range without worrying about legalities, it's actually very much legal. And how that works is Darby doesn't have to swing both ways anymore, so go to church, Darby. And what that really looks like on a frequency domain chart is we're taking all the frequencies, including the carrier, and we are just getting rid of them. And we're putting all the power in those frequencies on our single sideband, which increases the range tremendously. And here's how to use it. So this is my Bearcat 980 SSB. It's a really cheap sideband radio, but it works well enough. Now, you will notice I'm on channel 38, but I'm on AM. So you'll hear a lot of noise. And you'll notice it sounds like aliens are talking in the background. Well, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to lower sideband. In fact, if you're ever on 38, 99.9% .9 of the people on channel 38 are talking on lower sideband. So let's switch that. And now we're on lower sideband. And you can hear a lot of aliens. Now, the reason people sound so funny is because the radio has removed or suppressed the carrier when they're transmitting in sideband. So what we have to do with our radio is inject the exact carrier that they would have removed in the first place. Now, we do that by using the clarifier knob. The clarifier knob is usually in two parts. One is a wide frequency clarifier. The other one is a very fine tunable clarifier. And I'll show you how that works and why it works. So you can tell this person sounds kind of funny. What we're going to do is use the clarifier to tune him in. So obviously this is pretty simple to use, but you might have some questions about the clarifier and how that works. So let's go over that. So what exactly are we clarifying? Well, I'll give you an example here. If you are standing in a room with your friend Jeff, you're going to be stationary relative to Jeff. So whatever he says, you'll hear at the same frequency that he is speaking it or transmitting it. However, I'm sure you've heard an ambulance before. Now, when it's passing you, you hear it at a lower frequency. It's traveling away from you. But if it's traveling toward you, 
it's much higher in frequency. This is called a Doppler shift. Now, what if you got into your nice little Volkswagen Beetle and you drove beside the ambulance? Well, you are stationary now relative to that ambulance and you'll hear it at the exact same frequency that it's transmitting. Now imagine your little Volkswagen is attached to your clarifier. So what we're doing is matching speeds here and instead of matching speeds on the highway, we're just matching speeds of frequency in radio. Yeah. So essentially what you're doing with a clarifier is you're adding a carrier and you're changing the baseline of that carrier to match the original radio suppressed carrier. You're recreating the sound that they made and the circumstances in which their radio transmitted. So it's not even the message anymore. It's just an approximation of the message entirely, which is pretty cool. Now, at some point, you may have picked up a watt meter, and I want to show you the difference between AM and sideband on a meter, because if you're not careful, you'll assume your sideband radio is broke. Right now, I am on AM. That's amplitude modulation, most standard 40-watt radios. You can see that when I press the button, the push-to-talk button on the mic, we have a carrier. No modulation, of course but a carrier. SWR is pretty stable. And that carrier is, of course, impressed upon by our voice. Now, let's switch over to sideband. I'll put it on USB because no one's on there. Now, watch what happens when I press the mic button. Hmm, looks like a dead radio to me, huh? Completely ruined. But the suppressed carrier is no longer on the meter. So we only see the voice spikes when we speak. That's the difference. Make sure that you do not throw a radio away because it's not putting any power out. Because it is. It truly is. It's just not putting a carrier out anymore. So I hope this was helpful in some way or another and clarified a few things for you. No pun intended. And if you're a regular viewer, thanks for sticking around through all my nonsense. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe if you don't mind. Until next time, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later.